New here at 5 o'clock, the Chicago Police Department adding new technology and new officers all aimed at fighting carjackings in the city. Eyewitness News reporter Michelle Gallardo is live at police headquarters tonight with a closer look. Michelle. Karen and Revy, it is all part of the plan to increase the number of police officers on the streets by 1,000 by the end of the year. Also, these new license plate reading squad cars making officers' jobs a lot easier as they demonstrated for us today. If anything comes up and there's a hit, that's what it looks like. So this plate, here it is on this car with the red circle, it's that's a stolen car. The technology is controversial, but no doubt effective. License plate readers installed on the tops of police squads capable of automatically scanning up to 1,000 license plates per minute. The Chicago Police Department today adding five more to its arsenal. If we didn't have this, this car would have drove right past me. But because we got the plate readers, it read this plate, it told me that this was a stolen car right there. Announcing the additional squads today, as well as the deployment of 108 recently graduated police officers, Mayor Rahm Emanuel touted the city's efforts to combat violent crime across Chicago. Every month will be another hundred some odd officers are going to hit the streets of the city of Chicago to meet the goal the superintendent said of a thousand new officers added to the patrolling of our streets throughout the city of Chicago. The deployment comes one day after federal charges were filed against 23-year-old Arius Moore, who was accused of going on a violent two-hour crime spree Thursday, during which he allegedly shot his brother, wounded two other people, carjacked four vehicles at gunpoint, including one which was being driven by an undercover police officer, and tried to pull off two more carjackings before he was cornered. If convicted in federal court, Moore faces 15 years in prison. It's a threat. City officials hope will deter other would-be carjackers who often view it as an easy crime with no real consequences. Those days where they just go around doing these things with impunity, it's over. You know, you want to keep committing carjackings, then we have a message for you. That day is over. We're going to come get you, we're going to prosecute you, and you will be going far away from Chicago. So far, the number of carjackings in the city of Chicago remains steady at 243 versus 241 in 2017. The number of arrests, however, has nearly doubled with 87 arrests compared to 40 at this same time last year. Live at Chicago Police Headquarters, I'm Michelle Gallardo, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Back to you. All right, Michelle, thanks very much. New hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.